Hi everyone, welcome to Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. In today's session, we will see the proof of Heron's formula. So this is very famous formula and it is applicable to find the area of triangle if the measurement of three sides are known. So let us see quickly, recall what is Heron's formula. Suppose we have a triangle ABC and the measurement of sides are A, B and C. Then how will find the area of triangle since altitude is not known for this triangle. So we cannot use the basic formula that is half base into height. So we will use some another formula that is called as Heron's formula. So first of all we will find the semi perimeter which is half of perimeter. So perimeter is sum of all side which is A plus B plus C this is perimeter divided by 2. So this is semi perimeter. Now area of triangle is square root of S, S minus A s minus b and s minus c right this is called as heron's formula and we will see the proof of this formula in this session right everyone okay so let us prove this we can prove this heron's formula by using trigonometry and basic formula of area of triangle so i will use pythagoras theorem and basic concept of area of triangle to prove this formula because in class 9 some student uh, do not know do not have information about trigonometric ratios right so i will use basic formula basic method so that everyone can understand this proof right so let me draw this triangle again that is triangle abc let us assume the measurement of this side is a this is b and the measurement of this side is c okay so since altitude is not given so i will do a construction Simply I will draw the altitude from A to BC. Let us say this is our altitude AD. And the measurement of altitude is H. Let us assume, right. So if this BD is X, then what will be the measurement of DC guys? Then total is A, this is X, then it will be A minus X. Right everyone. So what is Pythagoras theorem? So there are two right angle triangles. That is triangle ADB and triangle ADC. So use Pythagoras theorem. If I use Pythagoras theorem in triangle ADB, then we can write C square is equal to H square plus X square. Okay. Or we can write uh, H square is equal to C square minus X square. Let us say this is equation 1. So simply I have used Pythagoras theorem in triangle ADB. Now let us use Pythagoras theorem in triangle ADC. So, if I use Pythagoras theorem in triangle ADC, then hypotenuse is B. So, we can write B square is equal to H square plus A minus X whole square. So, if I find the value of H square from this relation, then it will be H square is equal to simply shift A minus X whole square over here. So, we will get B square minus A minus X whole square. This is equation 2. So, by using these two equations, let us find the value of X. Since in these two equations, left hand side is h square. So if I compare these two equations, then right hand sides will be equal. So from equation 1 and 2, we can write from equation 1 and 2, we can write c square minus x square is equal to b square minus a minus x whole square, right? So let us simplify this and let us try to find the value of x, right? Because if I have the value of x, then by using Pythagoras theorem, we can find the value of h, right? So I will try to find the value of x in form of a, b, c because a, b, c will be given in the question. So let us expand this, which is a minus x whole square by using identity of a minus b whole square. So you will get b square, a minus x whole square is a square plus x square minus 2ax. If I open this bracket, then you will get c square minus x square will be b square minus a square minus x square. This negative into negative become positive. Right. So, see, we can cancel out these two x square. Okay. We can cancel them. Then what we will get guys? So, from here, if I shift b square and minus a square over here, then this minus a square become plus a square. Then this is already plus c square and this plus b square become minus b square is equal to 2ax and from here guys x will be a square plus c square minus b square upon 2a so this is the value of x this is the value of x in 
form of a b c so what is x x is basically a square plus c square minus b square upon 2a now find the h because if you know the value of h already base is a then half base into height will be the area of this triangle so let us use see we have already applied pythagoras theorem in triangle adb this is the relation right now put the value of x over here to find the value of h right so this h square will be equal to c square and what is x x is a square plus c square minus b square upon 2a so this will be a square plus c square minus b square upon 2a whole square right everyone hopefully this is clear to everyone now h square will be equal to c square so this will be a square plus c square minus b square upon 4a square to and a square over here also right so let us take the lcm so if i take the lcm guys what you will get 4a square so 4a square divided by 1 is 4a square so 4a square into c square is 4a square c square let me keep as it is whole square can i write this 4a square c square like 2ac whole square so yes we can write so from here we will get h square is equal to 2ac whole square minus a square plus c square minus b square whole square divided by 4a square let us keep as it is right everyone here we can use the identity a square difference means x square minus y square let us assume x is 2ac and a square plus c square minus b square is what tell me why then this is x square minus y square and we have identity x square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y so from here we will get h square is equal to let us add these two first so we will get 2ac plus a square plus c square minus b square then subtract them so we will get 2ac minus a square minus c square plus b square divided by 4a square right so if i club first three term so this is a square plus c square plus 2ac which is a plus c whole square so from here guys we will get h square is equal to a plus c whole square minus b square in one bracket right okay guys if i take minus common out let us take minus common out from here then what we will get we will get b square so if i take minus common out so what will left guys a square plus c square minus 2ac and what is a square plus c square minus 2ac that is a minus c whole square so it will be a minus c whole square divided by 4a square okay everyone hopefully this part is clear to everyone if you have any doubt then you can ask okay all clear so let us use the identity again a square minus b square so a square difference a plus b a minus b means we can add them and subtract them so this further can be written as guys h square will be equal to so if i add them you will get a plus c plus b subtract them so if you subtract guys you will get a plus c minus b right now use same identity over here so b square minus a minus c is square so what is this this again you can use the identity and what will be the identity guys a plus b a minus b so b plus a minus c so b plus a minus c then subtract so if i subtract then it, it will be b minus a plus c b minus a plus c divide by 4a square right hopefully this part is clear to everyone yeah just look and tell me so let me write this expression over here so what we will get guys till now we have h square is equal to a plus b plus c then this is a 
प्लस सी माइनस बी ए प्लस सी माइनस बी नो गाइज दिस इज ए प्लस बी माइनस सी सेकेंड वन इज ए प्लस बी माइनस सी एंड वट इज द लास्ट फैक्टर द लास्ट फैक्टर इज बी प्लस सी माइनस ए सो बी प्लस सी माइनस ए डिवाइड बाई फोर ए स्क्वायर एज इट इज सी नो जस्ट रिकॉल द हिरोन्स फॉर्मूला yes s minus a s minus b s minus c so we'll try to find the value of these expressions a plus c minus b a plus b minus c b plus c minus a in form of s right so what is s guys s is a plus b plus c divided by 2a so let us do the cross multiplication so 2s is a plus b plus c right hopefully this part is clear to everyone right everyone now what i will do guys i will find the value of a plus c a plus b and b plus c so from here what is the value of a plus b so a plus b will be 2s minus c is a plus b similarly we can write because b plus c is also required so what will be the value of b plus c guys so from here b plus c will be 2s minus a and similarly what is the value of a plus c so a plus c will be 2s minus b right now put all the values and also we can write this a plus b plus c as 2s so let us put all the values over here so we'll get h square is equal to a plus b plus c is 2s into what is a plus c minus b so a plus c is 2s minus b so 2s minus b and already we have minus b what is a plus b a plus b is 2s minus c and already we have c and b plus c is 2s minus a and already we have minus a divided by 4a square let us simplify this so if i simplify what we will get 2s so this is 2s minus 2b no? minus b and minus b is minus 2b so we can take two common out so if i take two common out we will get s minus b Similarly, we can take this is 2s minus 2c, so we can take two common out, so s minus c, and from here you can take two common out, so s minus a upon 4a square, right? So let us multiply these two, so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, four times is 16. So you will get h square is equal to 16 into s. Let us write s minus a first, then s minus b, and s minus c. Divide by four a square. Please look at this. If you have any doubt, then you can ask. Right. So let us simplify this. Four ones are four. Four four is a sixteen. Right. So h square will be. So let us find the value of h because h is required. Right. So h is simply we have to take the square root. So what is the square root of four two? And we will put all these term under the square root because they are not perfect square. So square root of S, S minus a, S minus b, S minus c, and what is the square root of a square? That is a. So guys, this is the formula to find the altitude for base a in any triangle if the measurement of sides are given. If you want to find the altitude for base b, then numerator will be same. Simply you have to. replace a by b if you want to find the altitude for c base c means a triangle whose measurement of base is c then replace this a by c now use the formula so what is the formula to find the area of triangle so area of triangle is half base what is the base guys this base is a because we have calculated altitude for base a so we we'll use this ad into bc so A and height h is this one, so put this value. So two into square root of s, s minus a, s minus b, s minus c, divided by a. Right. So a a get cancel out, two two get cancel out, and you will get your formula. That is your favorite formula, which is also called as Huron's formula. S s minus a, s minus b. And s minus c. 
right guys so please look go through the steps if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section okay so by using basic properties of triangle that is two properties okay area of triangle and pythagoras theorem we can prove this big formula right yeah yes so to prove this you should strong with the identities right understood everyone yeah great so still if i have any doubt if you have any problem in any step then you can write in the comment section i will surely revert back to you right everyone yeah so that's all from my side bye everyone thank you for watching the session